Good evening, everyone. I'm Keishla Adderley, and welcome to The Bahamas Tonight. Topping the news this evening, Prime Minister the Most Honorable Dr. Hubert Minnis addressing the United Nations General Assembly for the second time in three days. This morning, he joined his CARICOM colleagues at the UN meeting of heads of state and government on financing the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development in the era of COVID-19 and beyond. Aldovis Munnings tells us tonight more about the Prime Minister's virtual address to the world. Prime Minister the Most Honorable Dr. Hubert Minnis informed the global community that tourism and financial services, the first and second economic pillars of the Bahamas, have been adversely impacted by the downturn in global travel and foreign direct investment, causing concern about the viability of the balance of payments, all as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. The Prime Minister confirmed that as a part of its annual borrowing plan, government decided to borrow funds from international agencies to support health care, social welfare systems, micro, small and medium enterprises and the labor market. While the Bahamas noted the coordinated global effort to abate the debt burden of small nations and other vulnerable economies, Prime Minister Minnis pointed out that funding and assistance of this nature remain largely unavailable to countries such as the Bahamas because of perceived wealth that is measured by inadequate and improper tools. Prime Minister Minnis indicated that the combination of climate change and the COVID-19 pandemic has proven that outdated methods of assessing a country's wealth are no longer justifiable. He advised that priority must be given to developing a vulnerability index that will inform key policy sectors of international financial institutions and guide development assistance. He stated that as the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals leaves no one behind, so should financing for development. The Prime Minister noted that adverse pronouncements by larger economies pertaining to offshore international financial centers, especially against those in small developing countries, further exacerbate economic challenges. This is why he appealed to the United Nations for relevant international financial institutions and like-minded countries to assist the country's call for fair play and equitable treatment in the global financial arena. Prime Minister Minnis concluded his address to the United Nations meeting of heads of state and government on financing for development during COVID-19 and beyond by imploring his colleagues, heads of state and government to commit the political will and steadfastness to work with the United Nations to create policies aimed at a more resilient and sustainable global economic recovery. Altaviz Munnings, ZNS Network News.